In today's tutorial, let's do the cable twist hat together. This is a really fabulous hat and if you like cable work and you like crochet, this is the hat for you. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. In today's tutorial we're going to do the cable twist hat just like you see here. What an amazing hat this is. Cables are high in demand and I think that this hat is going to be extremely popular once this video gets out. Now this is not a hard pattern to follow. In today's tutorial I'm going to break it down into the steps. We're going to go slowly step by step so that you can be having great success in making this hat. In making today's hat you're going to notice that there is a set of twisting cables and then there is a set of front post double crochets and then there's a gap. You kind of can see a gapping space in between and then another set of front post uh, double crochets and then a gap space and then more cables and etc. So once we get to the cable area it's in multiples of 12 and what we're having here is that there's basically 12 st uh, stitches from one repeat pattern to the next. So what I've done is that I've created a crochet diagram and I'm going to put this diagram on my website and you can access that if you'd like to print that off to help you. So here's my crochet diagram just like you see it and we're going to start off in the beginning right down here. This is says row number one. All the row counts are on the sides here. This is not the entire hat because there are repeat patterns going on and what we're going to start off with is row number one and then move to row number two and it says here repeat three times which we'll cover in today's tutorial and basically you can see that uh, the posts are all uh, working out and you can kind of see how things are going to line up as it goes throughout the hat. Once we get beyond this round here. This is where the cabling starts up here. So we have to prepare it and then you can see that the cables then begin. So the cables on this hat do not start right away. There is a space before they start and that's what you're looking at here in the diagram. So that's gonna start up and then the cables are gonna then start here and then we keep repeating uh, rows two to five in the cable area in order to continue up right to where you need to be uh, closer to the top of the hat. And then once we get to the top of the hat we then have the whole process of starting to reduce down stitches in order to have it uh, um, come together. So what you're going to see here in the diagram this says number four. So when you follow these instructions and you read the information you have to finish on row or round number four of this instruction. So before you do the final like you see here this is number five. Um, and what we have here is that once we get to that part then what we need to do is then we start up. So this is actually already here. So this is you have to finish on row four or uh, round four here and then this is showing what round four looks like and then it shows you from one all the way to ten. And you can see that we start skipping stitches and we start bringing things together so that we can have this completely narrowed down at the top of the hat just like so. So without further ado let's uh, just quickly talk about the yarn, the hook and more. So for today's project you're going to need a five millimeter size H and then we're going to use uh, one ball of Karen Simply Soft today and that's what you're going to need. So let's begin and start off with instruction number one. So let's begin and create a slip knot and I'm just going to create that on my hands. We have slower tutorials for those that are beginning to crochet but and slip knotting is one of them. So we're going to put it on the hook. Remember the slip knot never counts as one. This is for an average size woman and we're going to chain 72. Remember as I just said this does not count as one. So you just uh, roll back and let's just chain. So one, two, three, four and five. Go all the way to 72 for me and then I'll meet you back here in just a moment. So I now have my 72 on my hook and what I want to do is just stretch out this chain and make sure it's not twisting. So just untwist it uh, just very carefully as you go. It makes a difference because this is going to be the brim of the hat that's right above your forehead and if there's anything weird going on it's right across in front of your face. So just get it to the very uh, last chain just like so. Take in the yarn strand then from the yarn ball and just pull it through and then that makes a generous circle like this. So let's uh, begin round number one. In this entire project you're going to notice chain two is at the beginning of virtually everything and it does not count as a stitch here and throughout. Okay so whenever we chain two in this project you do not ever want to count it as one uh, stitch. So we're going to chain two and we're going to immediately then just double crochet into the chain. So just turn the chain upside down and just get the back uh, loop of the of the chain or the back hump and just double crochet. Once you get the first one in the rest of them uh, the chain stays turned over and then it's just very easy to access and all you're just going to do is in every chain you're just going to uh, do a double crochet. Of course you know working with the chain is always kind of fiddly. 
So just uh, take your time with it and you wanna do a nice job and just put one double crochet into each one of the chains going across. So I'm coming up all the way back around. I wanna make sure I get into each one. You should have a total of 72 uh, double crochets as you've gone all the way around and once you get back to the very start then I want you to just join it to the uh, the bit top. Uh, what does it say here? Uh, join with the slip stitch to the first double crochet. So remember what we had here is that we had chain two so we're gonna go right to the first double crochet. Okay so when you go to do that make sure that you do not twist or do anything weird with this. We've gotta make sure it's nice and flat like a belt or a fan belt that you would have in a car and then that will carry on. So let's move on. I'm gonna show you a, a picture and then we're gonna carry on. In the next part of this tutorial what we're going to do is that you can see that there's ridges. Okay and these are all front post double crochets that you can see but we're going to start off with uh, doing back post double crochets as well in this section right in the very beginning and then as soon as that's done and we get above into this area then we don't worry about the back post double crochet. So it's only in the beginning and you're going to notice when you see this is that you got front post double crochets two and then there's a, a space and that's the back post double crochet and then two in front and then space and two in front. But do you see where it's following up here in the in the cable area? So on when the cable's being started here you can see that there's a gapping space which is the back post double crochet right directly in the center of that. And starting this is actually really really easy as long as you maintain the pattern and just like so. So let's begin to do this part. So round one is very easy. We're just gonna start off by chaining two. Remember that does not count as a stitch. It's more of a builder. And so we're gonna start on the very first one. So this is the chain two that you see underneath. Okay, so we're starting right with this one first. And the first two are going to be front post double crochet. So you wrap the hook coming into the side of the post. Pop it out the other side. Wrap the hook and pull through. And then yarn over and yarn over. And then do that and again in the next one. So front post double crochet. So there's gonna be two that are in the front and the next one will be in the back. So you wrap the hook and this time come from the behind through the post, pop it back out back to behind and then just double crochet as normal. Okay so the repeat pattern on this whole round is very easy. So the next two is going to be front post double crochet and the next one is back post double crochet. You get that? And so this whole round is that simple. It's just a matter of alternating between the two. So the next two is front post double crochet for two and then the next one is a back post double crochet. Please do that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So I'm coming up all the way back around. I'm going to end with a back post double crochet if you're doing all your stitch counts right. So you have two front post double crochet and then a back post. So then you're just going to join it to the top of the first front post double crochet and that concludes off this round. So you're going to see that it looks pretty cool right now and the next round is going to be repeat round for several more rounds and let's just show you how to do that. So let's move on to round number three. So round number three of the brim I'm gonna show you how to get started. So we're just going to chain two and we just need to match exactly what you see. So see these are front post double crochet. Well this is gonna be front post double crochet, crochet this time around and so is the next one. And the next one is a back post double crochet. So you're gonna make that and continue to be a back post double crochet. So for this round plus three more rounds. So this is, you're going to do this a total of four times that you're going to do exactly the same thing. Okay so the next two are front post double crochet. So just match them and put the same thing above and the next one is back post. So please do this for this round which is round number three plus continue to do it another three times after that and when I come back I'm gonna have that done and then I'm gonna show you how to move on and we're gonna prepare to get ready for the cables then. Okay let's do that next. So while you're getting all these first rounds done, I have to do a total of four of this same round. Don't forget that when you come back all the way around on each one of these you still have to just join it to the top of the first uh, front post double crochet. Okay and then you chain up two again, one and two and then just restart again just grabbing with the front post again. Okay so that's just a quick tip to make sure you don't forget to do that every time you go around. So I'm just finishing the section there of repeating all the rounds that I needed to and we're going to start then getting prepared for the cable next and uh, we're just finishing this off and let's slip stitch it to the top of the be uh, beginning front post double crochet. Let's uh, go back to the pattern and let me show you some more tips. 
In the next part of this tutorial what we're going to do is that we've done this whole section that you see here and now we're going to start preparing for the cables but we actually have a missing stitch at this time and we need to expand our stitch and let me show you on the diagram that I've done what's gonna be happening next. So here we have the diagram again and what is really key here is that you should notice that see this cabling that you see here. See how close it is to the slip stitching. This is the slip stitch line all the way up and look the difference between where this cable is sitting compared to the slip stitch and where the next cable starts. So I would have thought in this particular hat which is confusing me which prompted me to do the diagram that the slip stitching would be directly in the center of one of these. Okay, do you see this? So you have a cable here, a cable here and then you have two sets of front post double crochet with a center line. And that's where I thought it would have been but it's not on this particular pattern. So what we have to worry about in this one is that round that we're about to do is that we're going to start off and we need to count over and look at this thing as in groups of two. So two front post double crochet, two front post double crochet, two front post double crochet and what is going on here? Well after the third group of two this one here you need to put two in there and what this will do is it will add an extra stitch here because all the cabling at this time is in sets of six. But right now when you look at this there's a one, two, three, four, five. So they have you add an additional, additional one right in the middle. So after you get the first group of three, so best pass the first group of three, so one, two and three. Okay. After that it's then four in between this one and all the rest of them. So one, two, three and four and then there's a double again and then after that it's one, two, three and four and then a double again. And if you can look at it like this you can save yourself a lot of time instead of having to really count stitches when you can identify. Once you get this done and once you get the next one done this pattern is so easy to maintain. I think this is probably the hardest round of them all. So let's begin the next round. Now in the pattern it says next round after you have all these three done. So we're going to chain two to begin. So at this time we are no longer doing any more back post double crochet. That's it. We're done. And so what you have to do at this point is every time there's a back post double crochet um, you have to put in a half double crochet but in the ones that are in the groups. So we said one, two and three. So the one right here there will be two front post double crochets added to that one. So let's just slowly go by this. Uh, pattern right now and just let's hook along and get you done this round. So let's begin. So I've already chained two and the first two are going to be front post double crochet so we're going to maintain that and we're no longer doing back post anymore so the next one is just a straight half double crochet. So wrap the hook and into the stitch and, and just half double crochet it. Now the next one is going to be two front post double crochets again. So this is uh, two of the three groups. Remember what I just explained. The next one is another half double crochet and then this one is the third one of the two groups uh, of the groups of two and that those are two our front post double crochet. So here's the middle of the cable here. So this time what you need to do is that you need to go in and convert this into a front post double crochet and do that twice into the same one. So you're making an extra stitch there. And now as I told you is that the next group of four, the next one is gonna be right where my finger is. So if you look at these in groups of, of four, so one, two, three and four, the ones right after the fourth is the next uh, middle one of the next cable. So let's uh, get ourselves there just to prove that to you. So the next ones are going to be front post double crochet. The next one is a half double. So we're no longer doing back posts. The next one is front post double crochet. The next one is a half double and the next one is front post double crochet and the next one is half double and I do want to verify. So where am I here? So you can see where I put in my two here. So one, two, three, here's the fourth which I kind of actually already knew but it, I wanted just to count that out just to show you. And so we can say then this, the fourth one is now done. So this is the middle of the next uh, cable. So we're gonna come in and convert this into two front post double crochets into the same one. So continue to do that. So just look for your groups of four. So here's one, two, three and four. So your next one then will be right in the middle after the fourth one. So please do that all the way around. 
So I'm coming up all the way back around and my last cable before I get the slip stitch is right before I get to the slip stitch. So just uh, make sure that you are keeping your counts accurate and uh, for myself it worked out pretty good. This was the hardest round for me uh, during practice in order to maintain it. The last one is a half double crochet then instead of a back post double crochet and just join it to the top of the first front post double crochet. So you're gonna be able to look here and you're going to notice that, see here, that you just added two so it's kind of breaking off. So it's getting rid of the lines that you can kind of see the indentation. Okay and you'll see that coming up all the way around. Let's move on to your next round and the next round uh, is going to be a fun round because the cabling is about to start. So we're about to start the cabling in the next round and there are five rounds that involve a cable in order to get the repeat pattern. And the repeat pattern shows from about here to here and then it repeats from here to here as you can see. Okay, so the whole point of this whole thing is that we have to just really be careful. Now the first part of round number one is a real pain. I'm not even gonna deny that to you but you only have to do that once out of the five rounds because two, three, four, and five are all the same and then you do it again round number one. So the advantage to this is that yeah it's a pain for one round but then there's four of the rounds that you, it's, all, it's like a mini holiday. So it's not really that big of a deal and it only happens in this section here so you have all this in between that you don't have to even worry about. So let's move on and let's start doing the cabling. It's really quite easy. It's just a matter of being able to wrap your mind around it. So I'm coming back to my diagram and we've just finished this round here. You see how we made the ones in the middle turn into two and you saw that here as well and in here. So now this is round number one and then this round here right in the middle right is round number two, three, four and five and then you have a number one here which is what you already know. Okay so this one here you just gotta watch this right here. So we're going to be uh, extending over so we're going to be maintaining a portion of these ridges going up and then right where the ones where we did the expansion is where the cables are going to show up going all the way up this hat. Okay so let's uh, worry about that and it's just a matter of understanding. Once you get this uh, pattern established it's amazing and it's really quick to work up then from that, from that point. So let's begin really doing the cable next. To begin doing the cabling what we have to look for is that the first two sets are going to be left alone and you're going to keep that going all the way up and the one that where we added right in the middle these six are going to be your cables. Okay so in between just like you see here is that the next two will be left alone and then the ones with the one right in the middle are going to be cables. So let's uh, begin. We're going to start off by chaining two and we're going to be maintaining a portion of this plus doing the cable work once we get to the cable area right in here. Okay right where you've seen the two. So let's uh, do the first two first. So the first two are going to be front post double crochet. In between it's going to be a half double crochet so we're no longer doing back post anymore and then the next two are going to be front post double crochet. Now the cable what separates this is another half double crochet and then we start doing the cabling. So how the cabling is going to work is that we are going to extend over to the fourth stitch of way over here and we're gonna keep going over there and then to the next one and then to the next one and then we're gonna come back and capture the ones that we have skipped. And let's just quickly um, review that in just a moment. To do the crisscrossing all we just have to do is we wrap the hook for a double crochet and we're going to come into the front post only. So we're gonna skip the first three. So one, two and three go to the fourth front post and just double crochet that as normal. And then wrap the hook again and go to its buddy the next one and it's a front post double crochet. So it's all working on an angle and then finally do it again. Okay so you have the three over here. So now we have the three that you have skipped over here and all you just have to do is wrap the hook and come backward and just go into the side of the front post of the first one that was skipped just like that. Then you do it again. Okay so you come to the next one of the three. So there's three sitting there and you just wrap the hook and come into its buddy right next to it. And then finally you come into the third one. Like so. So what you have here is that you had the stitches in behind are leaning this way and now the stitches in the forward are leaning that way. 
So what we're going to do then is that we're gonna maintain the pattern once again. So the next one is a half double crochet and the next two sets are going to be left alone. So we're going to just maintain that. So we're just front post double crochet for the next two. And half double for the next one which is right in the middle and then the next two are going to be front post double crochet. And the cabling is coming up next but we have to do the first one first. So it's a half double crochet and now we're gonna do the cabling. So remember how we do it. So let me show you again. We're gonna wrap the hook, skip to the fourth one which will be this one that is over here. Okay, so skip the three, just reach over and do the front post double crochet. Okay, wrap the hook again, go for the, bu the buddy which is the next one in line. Wrap it again and go for the next one. So now you're gonna come back and come back to the very first one that you skipped way over here. So there's three here. Come to the first one. Just like that. I actually think I dropped a portion of that. I'm gonna try again. So just wrap the hook. Okay and then you move down the line. So grab the next one and there should be three. Wrap the hook and then grab the one that you skipped. It gets a little tight in there but once you understand what you're looking at it becomes really easy. So then that is your cabling done and then the next one is a half double crochet. And then your ridges again and then your cabling effect just like you see. So this is what it kinda looks like now. You can see the twist is starting to happen. Continue that same idea going all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way back around and I'm just finishing up the cable here. Remember there's still a half double crochet before the slip stitch at this time. And we'll wanna finish that and then just join it to the top of the beginning front post double crochet. So as I told you already, if this row intimidated you don't let that ruin you of this project. This is the hardest row that there is and it only appears a few more times like like out of the one of the five rows to do the cabling effect you only have to do this once out of the five times of each one of the repeats and there's not very many repeats. So let's move on and let's go to the next row for this cabling. So coming back to the pattern here you'll see that it appears to wrap around and then dive back under. This happens on its own. This is the craziest thing about this pattern. That's what I, one thing I love about it. So the next few rounds that we have rows two, three, four, and five. The next four are going to be doing that effect naturally and then we are going to introduce number one back which is the one that crosses over just like you did over here. Okay, so don't let that fool you. So on the instructions what we have here is that we had the crossover happening which is the first one. Okay, but rounds two, three, four, and five are all matching. So you're back to the front post double crochets again right on top of the cabling for several rounds before then you repeat it again to bring back row number one. So let's begin row number two of doing the cabling. So let's begin row number two, three, four, and five and it's all the same. So we're going to chain two. Remember that does not count as anything and we're going to start off with doing front post double crochets. We're gonna match exactly what is already there. Okay and the next one is a half double crochet in between. And then here's another set of ridges and those are gonna maintain that one too. Front post double crochets for those. And the next one is a half double crochet here. And now we're here on the cabling. So here's what's kinda confusing about this is that you kinda see that it's doing like a Z shape or a backwards Z. It's coming down and then kinda comes back. So we have to capture these in order. So we have to grab when we do this we have to grab the right one. So we have to then bend the material back and get the three that are in behind first. So let me just uh, do that. So we're gonna get those three and front post double crochet those. So I peeled back the one that's overlapping it and I'm going to do the three in a row. Front post double crochet. Got one more because there should be three. Just peeling things back out of the way. Okay and now these three are going to be front post double crochet now too. So what you're going to appear is that the one I'm working on right now is gonna appear to go over top of the one that's in behind that is coming from behind and it looks like it's sunken underneath and then coming back up. So let's carry on in this pattern. So we're going to half double crochet the next and we're going to maintain the pattern just like you see it until we get to the next cable and I'll show you what to do there too. So the next two are front post double crochets. The next, the next one is a half. 
I keep wanting to do a back post and the next two are front post double crochets and then the next one is a half and then we're here at the cabling effect again and let's just review what we have to do. So we have to get the ones in behind first. Just kind of peel back the work and just get the fr uh, the one and there should be three of those in a row. So one, once you get the first one the other two are just a matter of peeling it back and seeing it. There's two and the third one is there. Just The advantage to this row here is that when we come up to the, the next rows that we have to do in this repeat pattern is that it's a lot easier to get to these because everything is gonna be laying down in front. So if I can just show you. So here, do you see all the pattern? You see all the six are in a row so you're just gonna front post double crochet those without having to peel back uh, in the next uh, rounds. So here we go. The next three are front post double crochets. and then that's gonna, the next one is a half double crochet. So continue to do that same idea all the way around and this is round number two of the five and I'm going to show you just to repeat uh, round number three just to make sure that you've caught on to what I'm showing you. So I'm coming up all the way back around and I'm doing the last cable before I get to the end and the last one is a half double crochet before I join it to the top of the front post double crochet that we started with. So that was round number two of five. So number three, let's begin. We're just going to simply chain up two and now number three is that we're going to do the exact same thing we did in number two. The only difference is this time it's easier to access. So we're just maintaining the pattern with these ridges. This is what makes this pattern really quite nice is that these ridges are kind of like your, your holidays in between the hard work. So here is your cabling now. So what we're going to do is that you can see all the stitches are now right in front of you. You don't have to peel anything back and you just maintain it. So it's a front post double crochet for the, for all of the six. Okay and uh, no peeling and this will make the cabling look even sharper. So this is round number three and I need you to do this for rounds number four and five before returning back to number one where you have to do the crossover once again. So here's where I'm going to leave you in order to get your cabling done. Now this, remember what I said is already from rows, uh, rounds number one through five. Okay and basically once you start one again it will do the wicked crossover and then you're going to do one through five again. So in this particular um, pattern what's gonna happen is that it's gonna tell you to go to a certain height and you have to refer to the instructions for that but the final crossover that you see here is actually part of the ending of the hat. And the final ten rounds it's right in the very beginning it's round number two. So within this uh, I will tell you that you have to do all this and then all of a sudden all ten or then of the final is going all the way to the end but the reality is is that the 10 starts right about here and then carries on to the top. I'll be uh, telling you that uh, instruction as we get to it in this tutorial. So I'm coming up all the way around and I'm finishing off round number five before I start doing the repeat pattern of one through five again for the next part of the cable. So I just wanna reiterate what you need to do. So I'm just a uh, half double crochet and just join to the beginning. So in round number five is now done. We're going to start round number one again which will be the crossover of the cables that you see right here. So let's just uh, hypothetically, <laughs> let's just go through it together. So the f we're gonna maintain the pattern as normal. Okay, I'm still uh, finding myself making an error of doing back post double crochet every now and then and uh, it does happen and I don't worry about it too much. So here we go. Here we have the cable here. So this time we need to go uh, do the crossover. So we're gonna skip the first three and sorry go into the front post double crochet into the fourth one. and then keep doing its buddies, continuing to move on. And now we're going to get the ones that we missed. So there's three of them over here and let's just start on the first one all the way back. And then the next one a line. 
So this is a round number one of the repeat rounds of one through five. So you can see that the cabling is taking effect and see how it makes a difference of the look. And then we just jump over here half double crochet to, to finish that one off. And then you just maintain the pattern again and then as soon as you get back to the next cabling here you do the exact same thing and I, it's really not that hard. So what I want you to do is just continue with the pattern. Just use the pit photograph that's on yarnspirations.com as a guide if you wish and there is measurements as well that the round of the hat should be approximately about six inches uh, and you need to end on round number four. Okay so don't go all the way to number five for the final and uh, continue to do that and I'll see you back at the top at that time. So here I am and I've actually following the instructions for sizing and because I've substituted the yarn with Bernat Super Value instead of Karen Simply Soft my stitches are taller than what is in the pattern. So therefore I have to use a measuring tape in order to get it. So I've got it to the height that I need it but you know you can honestly see that you really only have two and a half of these um, braids here that you see in the cables. So you have to follow the, the pattern in order to make it work for you and I'm going to start now showing you how to do the, the top of this hat. Make sure that you do finish off on round number four of the repeat pattern of this and then we're going to begin. So there's ten rounds in order to do the finishing off so it's gonna be quite a bit larger and that's why I wanna uh, start it now because if I keep on going and get my three and a half plus do that <laughs> This is gonna be one tall hat. So let's uh, begin to do the rounds of the final. So back to our diagram we go and you can see here so I've actually got two of these and a half. So I actually don't have the section here done but I've already determined that I still have a way to go in order to get to the top and now it's go I'm going to start closing it in. Let me show you on the diagram where we are. So back to my diagram we have to finish off on round number four. So I already have this marked as number four here and so the first layer here is number four that you've already done and we're going to start off with number one and go all the way to ten and what we're going to notice here is that once you get the, to the first round we'll see where the X's are. That's not a stitch that means to skip and I put that on there really obvious for myself and so in the next layer then that's above there's nothing there because there's no stitch there anymore. So things get uh, narrower and narrower. So if you would actually draw this it would look like a, uh, a triangle but what I've done is I've done it straight up so that you can clearly understand what's going on in here. So we don't skip all the time and sometimes we do uh, two together um, front posts and sometimes three yeah, but overall it's a really quite easy pattern to be able to maintain in order to bring it to a beautiful close. So let's uh, grab our crochet hook and let's give this a whirl. So back to our diagram just really quickly. We're going to start the first round and we are going to be skipping the middle one of these stitches right here. So the cabling looks here okay but the middle one is right in this where the two grooves are actually separated. We're going to skip over so every time we get to these two grooves that are side by side right on the pattern right here we're going to be skipping that middle one. So it's going to appear that uh, after we've done this round that there's only four there instead of actually two and then a half double crochet and two. So it's actually gonna start combining it in and that's what we're doing on round number one. Let's begin round number one. We're going to chain up two as always and the first two are going to be front post double crochets. We know how to do that already and what's gonna happen according to our instructions we're going to skip that middle one that's a half double crochet and we're just gonna jump over and just front post double crochet the next two. So we've just eliminated one stitch right out by doing so. So we're gonna carry on and do the pattern as we normally would and so the next one is then a half double crochet and then here is your cable work and those are all gonna be front post double crochets. So we're no longer gonna do any kind of braiding looks. It's all just front post double crochets and uh, at this point going right to the end. Okay so those six just became uh, all still front post double crochet and now we're here. Here's your group of two again. So we, before we do that we got a half double crochet first and now the first two are going to be a front post double crochet and then that one half double crochet right in the middle is now gone. So we're just gonna skip right over it and just front post double crochet the next two and then carry on doing the same thing. So every time you get into the middle here we're gonna eliminate one so then these four plus the one become more narrow by just being only four. Please do that same concept all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way back around and I just gotta do my half double crochet to finish off round number one 
of doing the top of the hat. So I'm just gonna join it to the top of the front post double crochet. So let's move up to round number two. So round number two is actually different from what it appears in my diagram that I showed you and what we have to do is that we have to do the crossovers just like we did down here. Now the remainder of this tutorial is going to show you exactly how to finish off. The only difference right now is that it's gonna have the crossover but when you see the rest of this tutorial it's not gonna appear here because I've had to go back in this video in order to fix this. But the remainder of the stitch work and the techniques are exactly identical so you just have to get past that. So we're going to chain up two to start and in round number two we're going to start off with the front post double crochets. Now this time there is still only, there's only gonna be four in there because in the last round we had to skip over. And after that we have the half double crochet. So we're gonna do our crossover just like we did before. So we just skip over to the third one and do a front post double crochet like we have been doing it before. And we keep doing that until we get our three done and then we come back and get the ones that we missed. Okay and there's gonna be three of those as well. So this is what you already know. You've already, I've uh, seen how to do this before. You already know how to manipulate it. So in this particular portion of this video, this is actually, I've had to go back. I actually finished the project and then I realized I missed this line completely. So I'm just refilming this line just to show you that you need to do it at this point. And then you, once you get your crisscross done, you start with a half double crochet. And then the front post, there's only gonna be four of them there and they're in a row so you just continue to do that and then you do the crisscross again. So when I come back I'll finish up this round. So just be aware that the next portion of this tutorial all the way to the top is going to look slightly different. This is going to be missing out of the top and the reason for it is that this is an outtake and that I've had to put it back into the video so that you can physically actually see it when you get to the top. Until next time that's so as I mentioned before, this is an outtake. I've had to go back and put this in because I went all the way from here all the way to the top without doing that and it looks not very good I have to say. I missed it in the instructions so I'm showing you how to do it once and again and this is for round number two and the remainder of the uh, tutorial is perfect. It's just fine. Uh, it's just a matter you still have to operate with the stitches and we'll carry on from that point. So I'm coming up all the way around. I'm just half double crocheting into the final like so. So that concludes off this round which is round number two. So round number three we're going to start decreasing even more. So we're going to be decreasing, see what the double uh, lines are. This is the cable. We're gonna continue to decrease right in this section here and over here. So we're leaving the cable section alone for now and then we're gonna continue to decrease right in the cable. So that's coming up in round three. So let's begin round number three. We're going to start by uh, chaining two which doesn't count as anything as we know. So now there's four here and remember this was where it was doubled. So now there's only four here because we've eliminated one two rows of back and now this time the middle one is going to become one with the two um, pose our two front post double crochet together. Okay so every time you see the group of four so you're gonna skip right over the cable section and here's the next one here. Okay, and the middle two are going to become together. So let's uh, begin to do that. So the first one will be a front post and double crochet and the next one is going to be two together. So we're gonna wrap going into the first post, wrap and pull through, pull through two and hold. Okay, we have to get the next one before we finish that stitch. So wrap into the next one, pull through, pull through two and hold. You now have three loops on your hook, wrap and pull through all three. And now that just made these two back into one and then we're going to front post double crochet the final one of the four. So in this particular case you have one here. These two just became one and now you have one there. So we're gonna carry on in the pattern as normal. So it's just a half double crochet in the next one. And this is the cable work so it's all gonna be front post uh, double crochet at this point. Okay, no biggie and my goal is to get you to the other side of this cable. So we're gonna have to put in a half double crochet first and then you're back on your four here. Okay, so then the first one is a front post double crochet and the next two are together. So we can wrap going into the first one, pull through two and two and hold, wrap into the next one, pull through, pull through two and hold, 
three loops on the hook, wrap and pull through all three. Those two just became one and then just front post double crochet the final one and those four just became three at this time. So continue to do that same thing all the way around. This is for round number three. I'm coming up all the way to the conclusion of round number three and I'm just half double crocheting in the final and then just slip stitching to the top of the beginning front post double crochet. So what we're going to do in round number four, we're going to match exactly what you see. So for example, we have only three here now. It went from four to three. So let's just chain up two. So we're going to front post double crochet the first one. Now these ones are two together. So when you go to do this one, you have to go around both because they're considered together at this time. And that's a front post double crochet. And then the next one is a front post double crochet. And you maintain the pattern exactly what you see. So the next one is a half double crochet. And the cabling is next and that's all front post double crochet at this time. So the way that this does a conclusion at the top, it's more um, um, even keel. It keeps all the stitches lined up perfectly. Um, all the grooves kind of match up to the hat and synchronize. And coming to this one, this is half double crochet. And here's the next one here. So these three, see that you only see three. So front post double crochet for the first one. The next one, these two are considered together. You go around together and front post double crochet the final. Please do that same patterning going all the way around. This is round number four. So I'm coming up to the conclusion of round number four and uh, the last one is a half double crochet and then I join it to the top of the front post double crochet. So round number five is next. In round number five we're gonna take an even more drastic turn. So in two rounds ago we put two into one. Now this one we're gonna put all three into one from going in this section. The cabling we're still leaving alone but this section here these three are going to become one. Let's say I begin to do that and we're going to chain two and it's gonna be called the front post double crochet three together this time. So we wrap going into the first one wrap and pull through, pull through two and hold, wrap going into the next one, pull through, pull through two and hold, wrap going into the next one, pull through, pull through two and hold. You should have four loops on your hook, wrap and pull through all four loops. Then we begin again. So the next one here is a half double crochet. We don't touch the cables at this time. We keep those going. There will be six front post double crochets. We're gonna be tackling those but we're not quite ready yet, not on this round. I like how the designer is getting rid of one element at a time. It makes it a lot easier to follow. So here we go. So these three are your next one. The, sorry, the half double crochet, don't forget that one. And the three are next right here. Those become one. So just wrap and in, pull through two and hold, wrap into the next one, pull through, pull through two and hold, wrap in, pull through, pull through two and hold, four loops on the hook, wrap, pull through all four. And then begin again, half double crochet and etc. cetera. Be uh, continue that whole round, you're gonna notice it's really gonna start to pull in now. I'm finishing up round number five and we finish off with a half double crochet and then join to the first. Now the first one is going to be all these three together so just don't forget to do that. So now we're going to move on to number six. So at this time we've been tackling, decreasing, the, the, these coming here and now we're going to start decreasing some of this cabling down as well in this round. So this time we're going to tackle the cable area. Let's just chain two, one and two and what we're going to do, these three okay count as all one. So we're gonna front post double crochet around the three of those okay in this particular one and then we have double crochet. So what we're going to do for this one in the cable areas, we have a total of six stitches and what we're going to do in this one is that the, the first one is gonna be a front post double crochet, same as the last one and the, there's four in the middle. The first two will become one, two double crochet together and this one will become, and these two will become one. So we're going to eliminate um, stitches here so the, these six then become four. So the first one is a front post double crochet and the next two are gonna be together. So front post double crochet two together. Okay, we know how to do that already and so the next two are the same thing. So the ones right in the middle are gonna be together. 
and then the final one is going to be one post, a front post double crochet. So you see that? So the front post, front post, these two just became one coming together. So there's a total of four and then we just maintain the patterning going all the way around. So half double crochet. So here is three together. Make sure you go around everything for that for a front post double crochet and then half double crochet on the other side and then you're back on your cables again. So the first one is gonna be a front post double crochet the next two are gonna be together and the next two are gonna be together and then the last one is a front post double crochet. So then those four just be, or six just became four. Continue that same patterning going all the way around. I'm finishing up round number six and we're just gonna put a half double crochet in the final and then just join it to the top of the first front post double crochet. So that's way over here. Okay, so let's move on to number seven. So number seven is really quite easy. Um, there's nothing really here to worry about. We just wanna maintain the pattern as is. So we're going to chain up two and we're going to front post double crochet around the first one and you're maintaining exactly the pattern. So you're not eliminating anything. You're just giving the pattern an opportunity to, to relax for a little bit. So these here that you see, you only see four stitches at the top, one, two, three, and four. You're just doing a front post double crochet into each one of those. So number seven is just matching exactly what you see. Okay, so then these are only four here and this is the cable area. The next one is half double crochet. Okay, and then the next one is a front post double crochet. And then you got your cable area once again. So you got a half double crochet in between that, sorry. And then now you have your, your um, cable area just like so. The first one is there, ha front post double crochet. The next one is there. Th they're together, don't forget. The next two are together. And the next one, there you go, front post double crochet. So just continue to maintain exactly what you see on this particular round. We're now finishing up round number seven. It's a half double crochet into the final. So let's move on. I'm just gonna join this to the first front post double crochet. So in round number eight, we're going to start off by chaining two and we're going to do two things in this particular one for reduction. We're going to skip over anything that is a half double crochet and we are also going to make these four that are in the middle of the, the cables, we are going to make the two in the middle become one. So let's start. So the first one is gonna be a front post double crochet. The next one is a half uh, double crochet but we're gonna skip right over it. We're going to put in a front post double crochet into the next one which is the one of the four. The next two are together. So the front post double crochet two together. It's the middle one of the group of four. And then the final one on the other side is a front post double crochet. So these four just became three. The next one is a half double crochet so we're just gonna skip it and just front post double crochet into the next. Skip the next half uh, post double crochet. You have your group of four and you're going to do the reduction in the middle with the middle two. So the first one's a front post double crochet. The next two are together. And then the final one is just one by itself. So these th uh, four just became three just like you see here. And now we skip over the next half double crochet. We front post the next one skip over the next half double crochet and you're back on the four again and eliminate the two by making them together. Please do that for all this round. When you get all the way back around, remember we always been finishing with the half double crochet but we're not going to this time because I told you to eliminate it. So when you get the final uh, together here in the group, uh, you're just going to join it to the beginning of the front post double crochet. And let's move on to round number nine and we're almost done at this point. See how it's kind of sloppy with that? I just wanna kind of pull it a little bit tighter. Just like that, that's better. So let's uh, begin round number nine. In round number nine, though it's harder to see, we have our group here and you can see that you have the double crochet, our front post double crochet, it's by itself and then a little bit of an indentation. Then you have three now, it was, it was all this and now it's gone down. Then you have a little bit of an indentation and the front post. The reason why I tell you that is that the middle three here are going to be come together and we're still gonna maintain these ones that are in between these groups. So the ones that are coming up that look by themselves, we're gonna maintain those. So let's uh, begin round number nine. So we're going to chain two and we're gonna front post double crochet the first one. 
the next one is part of the cabling and all three of these are gonna be coming together. So just wrap going in, pull through, pull through two and hold, wrap and in. See and there appears to be two here but those are together at this time and then wrap and going into the next one. So there'll be a total of four loops, pull through all four and we immediately jump to this next one right here. Do you see how it's indentated in? on the both sides. That's that middle one. So we wanna maintain that as a front post double crochet. And here's your next group here. So the, they're just gonna be come together. Okay. Like so. And that's three together. And then here's your next one right here. So please do that same thing going all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way back around and the last uh, three are together. Just like so. And then we just join it to the top of the first front post double crochet. So that's a pretty tight one there. We've almost got eliminated. We just have one more round to go, round number 10 and then we just have to take the remainder and just uh, drag a darning needle through it and close it off. Round number 10, your final round, we're just start to going to chain two. Doesn't count as anything and what we need to watch for now is that we still have a front post double crochet. These three are now together and then a front post double crochet and then three together. So we're just gonna maintain this. So front post double crochet the first one. The next three are going to be together. So they're already together. So just go around all of it and make that into a front post double crochet. And the next one's front post double crochet by itself. And here's the next group. You see how they've come together? So please do that all the way around. This is round number 10. So I'm coming up all the way around and I'm just finishing up and I'm gonna show you how to close it off. Now we have tutorials available on how to make pom poms. You see a pom pom in there. There's instructions in the written thing but we also have a tutorial if you need it. Join it to the top of the beginning front post double crochet and you're still left with a tiny little hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a darning needle and a pair of scissors and I'm gonna show you how to close that off. Uh, what I want you to do is grab some string. It's the same string and just leave it extra long and just trim it. And what I want you to do is just pull this string out like this. So what I want you now is that we have a little tiny hole left in it and we are just gonna use a darning needle and place that string through the eye of the needle. So now uh, what I want you to do is that I want you to trace the stitches and going in like following this around. Okay, and just continue. I'm just trying to kind of staying under. And I wanna get all the way back to the starting point I'm close to it. There we go. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna pull on it tight and it should pull it shut like so. And I'm gonna come across diagonally, across. Is diagonally the right way, straight across? Might be the better word. Just making sure I don't stab myself. Coming straight across. And then I'm gonna go in a cross formation. So going across the other direction. I really want that closed off at the top. And then what I want to do is that I wanna stick the needle down through the project. Let's try that again. So just kinda down, right down the middle. And what I want to do is that I want to get in from the inside. So let's pull that out. So I'm gonna flip my hat. Huh, that's nice stitches inside too. Hmm. Okay, I'm just pulling it up like this. And I'm just pulling it up. And what I want to do is just gl kind of glide it underneath some fibers but not coming out to the other side. And I want to kind of tie it on the interior. So now that I think it's tied, I'm just gonna run the needle through some fibers. At this moment, just, just gliding it through like that. I can safely trim it. And now I can go back to the very start that I had. Let's flip it the other way. So I had a, um, a strand right in the very beginning. Okay, and what I want to do is just kind of tighten it up a little bit and put my little needle on it again. Now the, the fabric can never stretch in three directions at one time and 
and what I'm just going to do is that I'm just gonna glide it underneath some section, one, one direction, and I'm gonna go back in the other direction for two, and I'm gonna glide it back in the other direction for three. Okay, so now I can safely cut that out because it's gone in three directions and now my hat is good enough to wear. So this is how you would do a hat. I would probably roll this up at the brim. It's up to you. And wait, however you wanna wear it. Um, it looks pretty cool. You could leave it down and make it into a slouchy if you wanted to. You know the choice is up to you on, on what you wanna do with this hat. So till next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye. <music>